And if they said yes, deny them entry into their spaces. Would you tolerate that gene block? Would you enable that bore of UCLA? Would you assist that, administrators? And would you participate and celebrate that, faculty? Of course, if any of you had any moral conscience or courage, you would resign. But you won't. But your legacy is secured. You all have created a moral stain on this university that will never be washed clean. For every former student, for every current student, and for every student to come, that is your legacy. And one day, some of you might be ashamed of that. To the Jewish students of UCLA and the students who have not been seduced by the anti-Semitic and hate that many of your faculty and the radicals that have convened at UCLA have been sharing with these kids. To you, I am so sorry. I am so sorry you have to deal with this. I'm not Jewish. You don't have to be Jewish to have a brain, to be, have, have sanity, to condemn the evil that is Hamas. I am sorry. What did you do? You worked your butt off. You got good grades. You came to a school of your dreams. You didn't ask for this. It breaks my heart that you have to be fighting for civilization against those who want to tear it down on the front lines. It's a disgrace, but it is what it is. Watching some of these Jewish students come and speak is incredibly inspiring. But I want to tell each and every one of you Jewish students and students who have not been seduced by this mania. I know you feel abandoned. That is because you have been abandoned by the administrators and presidents of this school, our school. But you are not alone in this. You are not alone. The facts of this, it may not seem like it, but the vast majority of Americans have your back. They support you. There are great people in this room who support you. The AJC, my friend Rick, and others. And I support you. And the people that are speaking today support you. If you feel scared, if you are at UCLA, if you are at MIT, if you are at NYU, if you are at Columbia, if you are at the nation of Columbia, wherever you may be, we have your back. Find someone to talk to. Understand this. Reach out to the AJC. Stand with us. Reach out to me. I've talked to many of you already. Fiverrfighting.com, email John. Fiverrfighting music, whatever that Instagram thing is, do that. Send me a message. Because we are here for you. You are good. You are on the right side of history. You are the hope of the future. And we stand with you shoulder to shoulder. And we'll get through this together. And we will come out the better side.
injury. For those who continue to downplay or deny what is happening on college campuses across America and the Western world, let me be clear. The outrage of the Jewish community and millions of non-Jewish concerned citizens around the world has absolutely nothing to do with Palestinian liberation or the suffering of innocent people in Gaza or an aversion to peaceful protesting. And everyone out there who categorizes our outrage as such, everyone from media personalities to Congress people to university staff to our friends and neighbors, is being willfully disingenuous in order to demonize the rest of us as callous, illiberal, and evil, to justify for themselves their own callous, illiberal, and immoral behavior. Our outrage is directed at one thing, and one thing only, and we have been absolutely unified in our expression of this outrage. So the only excuse for being ignorant to it is if one has purposefully worked not to hear it. We, as all decent people should be, are outraged by the open, blatant, vicious, anti-Jew hate being hurled at random Jewish students and professors simply for being Jews, or at least not the right kind of Jew. As they try to do what they have come to university to do, go to class, walk across campus, learn, exist. Jews are being bullied, harassed, intimidated, assaulted, excluded. Privileged American college students, their faces masked to hide their association with this unjust anti-Semitic mob. Their ranks swelled by paid outside agitators openly call for the death of Jews, death of Israel, death of America, as they cheer on Islamist terror groups like Hamas, PFLP, and Hezbollah. So again, let me be clear. We are outraged by the open, often physical, casually doled out anti-Jew hate being propagated on this campus and others like it. Any human being who purports to believe in kindness and justice and progressive values should be outraged at the blatant targeted hate of a minority group. The only reason you would not be bothered by such hatred is if you believe that kindness, justice, and progressive values should not apply to Jews as they do to everyone else, which is the textbook definition of contemporary anti-Semitism. You do not need Jew hatred to communicate a pro-Palestine vision, unless, of course, the Jew hatred is actually the point. To the Jewish students on this campus, we are with you. The Jewish community is with you. Millions of kind-hearted, clear-eyed, critically thinking fellow Americans are with you. And together, we will continue expressing our singular outrage until every shred of anti-Jew hate is scrubbed clean off of this campus and every other college campus across the land. I'm Israel Chai. All right, so we are listening in as the UCLA Hillel is addressing the ongoing Gaza war protests, specifically at that campus on the lower right-hand side of your screen. That is a protest that happened earlier this week at UCLA. We are going to step away for a two-minute break. After the break, though, we will continue to listen in as the UCLA Hillel addresses the campus Gaza war protests.